Okay, we have here a Taylor Integral from the UNSW Integration Me. This one was from 2023, round one, 18. We have the integral from zero to two pi, cosine 2023 x dx. And I think this is actually my third time doing this problem. I kind of got obsessed on doing it different ways and now I just can't stop. So, and what I noticed about this, what kind of got my attention was that this is the case where we can actually use both these principles on the same integral. I don't think I've ever done a problem using both these principles, so I wanted to see how it would go. So starting with this top principle, we have f of 2a minus x equal to f of x. We need to do this check. And just notice our 2a is just 2 pi here. So we're really just kind of adding the bound. So we want to check on this for f of 2a minus x. We want to check that f of 2 pi minus x is going to be equal to f of x. And our f of x is just this cosine of 2023x. And so what I want to do is just plug my 2 pi minus x into cosine 2023, but really I think the key is just going to be the cosine of that. So let's just look at what happens when we have cosine of 2 pi minus x. What I can do on this real quick is just the angle addition formula so we can see it really clear. We're going to end up with cosine 2 pi, cosine of x, plus sine of 2 pi, sine of x. This piece goes to 0, but sine of 2 pi is 0. Cosine of 2 pi is just 1, and we end up with cosine of x. Now, of course, our f of x is cosine of the 2023x. I can just raise both sides of this to the 2023, 2023, and this is going to become 2023x. So this is going to be our f of 2a minus x is going to be the same thing as f of x. So this condition here is true. So now having shown that this first condition is true, we can use this condition to reduce the bound on the integral. So what's going to happen here is if 2a is 2 pi, we can write this now, bring a two out front and reducing our bound from two a to a, so it just cuts it in half. So we're gonna be now going from zero to pi of cosine 2023 x dx. So that completes our first part. Now we just wanna do this second section here. And so we're doing a really similar check here on f of two a minus x, but now our two a, but now our two a in this case is just pi. So what we wanna do is we wanna check f of pi minus x. So we're checking going back to our function, or actually our function here, but it's the same thing. So we're checking 2023 to pi minus x. But notice cosine of pi minus x, this is just our supplementary angle formula. So this is the same thing as minus cosine of x. So plugging this in here, if we plug in minus cosine x here, risk the 2023, because it's an odd power, we're gonna have a minus out front and this is gonna become cosine 2023x. But cosine 2023x is just our f of x, so this is the same thing as minus f of x, and so this condition here is also true. But with this true, that just says our integral here is zero, so it's saying all this is zero, but we're multiplying it by two, but two times zero gives us our solution of just zero. Okay, so that's it. Using the formulas, it goes really quick. And I know I didn't mention anything about where these formulas come from. If you need some more information on that or how these work, why these work, I've got other videos and those. I'll provide links in the description. So we'll stop right there. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.